Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Bo Yuzhen. So, uh, as you, some of you might already attend, we have an uh, report release forum uh, last Sunday, and this is our report. I think like almost all of you have already got like really thick report in your pocket now. And so, um, who are we? Um, I'm I'm Bo Yuzhen. You can call me Fi. It'll be much easier to pronounce. And this is my colleague. Ma MG. So we are from Open Culture Foundation, and uh, so we, we've been co-writing this report for half years now. And what this ta uh, Taiwan Open Government Report has, so we have divided this report into four cap chapters, and first one will be the law and policy of this report, uh, of open government in Taiwan will be the uh, foundation and the infrastructure of an uh, open government. And the second chapter will be in open data, which we will uh, incite some readiness implementation and p impacts of open data in Taiwan. The third chapter is about civic participation, which uh, we have case study of open participation that use online tools that are influenced by open government. And the third one, uh, the uh, fourth chapter will be collaboration, which is the civil tech collaboration that we have done with government. But because of this report is too big, we have like, we planned to write 50 pages, but we ended up with 150 pages in the end. So we're not going to go through all those four chapters. So we're going to focus on the uh, technologies for participations that was led by the government uh, uh, for this two, uh, past two years. So let me introduce you three online tools that Taiwan government has built. There will be uh, iVoting system, joint platform, and V Taiwan platform. So uh, the first one will be iVoting systems. Uh, so iVoting system was built by Taipei city government, and it is an online referendum system. Uh, the proposal can be both uh, proposed from citizen or from department of city government. But because the uh, threshold of proposal is really high for citizen to propose, so uh, it requires thousands of signature to propose for a citizen. Uh, so by the end of 2016, we already uh, we only have nine I voting cases, and it was all proposed by Taipei City government. And the qualification uh, is different from cases, but uh, all require Taipei citizenship to get to be voted to to get vote. So I will use this search Dao development uh, direction cases to introduce a little bit more about I voting system. So search Dao is a district in Taipei that used to be prohibited to construction and architecture due to its frequency of flooding, flood, and. Um, it, but because of the residents of Sezidao demanding to broaden the limitation, Taipei city government decided to put how to deliver Sezidao as a case of eye voting in 2015. So this proposal is called uh, Sezidao Development Direction Eye Voting. It was proposed by Department of Urban Devolution. De development of Taipei city government. And there was two set of voting. The first one will be voted by, uh, is voted by residents of Sezidao, and the second one was voted by all Taipei citizens. And both of the results will be, uh, will be the reference of Urban Design Review Committee. And the second platform, uh, the second um, platform that our government built is called Join Platform. It is, uh, it is built by National Development Council, and there's three features, propose, talk, and supervise. The most important uh, one and most uh, commonly used is propose. So anyone with uh, uh, ROC nationality can propose on that platform, but you will need 5,000 seconds in 60 days in order to have response from the government. And related, the, uh, the, the related department from our government will respond within two months. Okay, so uh, to give you a better idea of how this work, I, I translate this web page that we have. So you can see uh, there's three features on the top uh, bar will be proposed, talk, and supervise. For talk, uh, that feature is for citizens to give feedback for policy that government was planning. And for supervise, will be a link that you can go to a government budget or, it, or you can um, over. You can have uh, you can overview the exist exist 
policy. And so in this case, um, you can see there's a second from citizens of, or, or from the citizens of Taiwan. Then once proposed, someone proposed something, then you can second online and they will show your names and where you live. Okay, so and once the uh, the one proposal re, uh, re receive enough seconds, the government uh, will respond within two months. And not only do they need to respond, but they will need to come up with what they are planning to do in order to deal with this proposal. And the third platform is called V Taiwan, and it is built by National Development Council in co collaboration with Gov Zero community. And this platform uh, is to discuss regulations that associate with internet. And the, uh, on, on the platform, the proposal was made by the government, but the discussion can be made by both citizen and government official. We will discuss together. So uh, to have a briefly understanding of this platform, I also translated this web page. As you can see, there will, there will be, uh, this is a discussion about legalization of Uber uh, in Taiwan on the Taiwan platform. And you can see there are three columns. First one is the accurate time. And the second column, the discussion will be divided into different period. In this case, it was divided. You can see at the, at the bottom, it was the beginning. We have a uh, like gather, gathering people's opinion. And the second, peri uh, second period, we have a drift meeting about, this, uh, about the law. And the third one was a law. So uh, in this platform, we bring in different tools. Uh, they will, uh, we use all kinds of online tools. This is Polis, is a platform to discussion. Uh, many of you might already use this before. And this is Say It. It was a, it's a project of my society, and is to have a tr uh, making the trans transcript easy to read and search and share. And we also we have live stream from YouTube of the meeting, and we have Hackpad to have collaborative um, meeting notes as that the one that we have, uh, that, that projector as well. And then there's law database as well. Okay. So hi everyone, my name is MG, and you have seen me a lot during these three days. I um, just want to go through some comparison and analysis uh, of these three uh, different platforms. So um, in our analysis, we asked for W is where, who, when, and how. So where does the participation happen? Who participates? And when, in what stage does the participation happen? And how does it happen? So first, where it's quite uh, simple. You can see for citizen participation, the platforms also use online and offline uh, together. So there is uh, online tours together with a lot of offline meetings. However, uh, we also notice that uh, though uh, uh, except for V Taiwan, uh, the other two platforms doesn't have regular procedures for online and offline these meetings, uh, how to put these together. Uh, it depends on the uh, case officers to decide if they want to have the offline meetings or they can just simply reply to the citizens request by a, a, a simple email or a, a document rather than go through uh, offline meetings. Uh, compared to I voting and join, uh, Vitawa has a more complete uh, procedures to combine these two uh, types of uh, citizen participation both online and offline. And why uh, online and offline are both important? Because it's uh, with different ways we can engage diverse groups of people. It's not everyone are, uh, related to the issue are online here. Uh, for example, the Uber case, you know, a lot of uh, taxi drivers are driving uh, all the days. It's not really easy for them all the day to use uh, uh, Slido or to use uh, police to vote for their feelings. So it's still important to have this offline meeting to invite them to join, to share their different points of views. Um, so uh, concerning who built, uh, uh, sorry, concerning who has these tools, we also divide it into th three different parts, which we think are very important. The first is who built a tool. The second is who set the agenda, 
and then the third is who can express opinions on the issue discussed. So oftentimes we talk about citizen participation, we often talk about who has uh, the power to say things rather than to think who set the agenda or who build the tools. However, we do think tool building is very important because uh, uh, tool building, a tool building has already set up uh, how to participate, uh, when to participate, what's the procedures. So uh, tool building are instant, uh, is essential here. Uh, the same thing is about agenda ses, uh, setting. It decides what to discuss, who and how. And you can see from here, uh, things like voting and join a platform built by the government. Uh, it's agenda setting and tool building uh, uh, all made by the government rather than uh, the collaboration be uh, with the citizens. However, VTI1 is start from a uh, hexon from a, a government official come to uh, gov Zero's hexon. So it starts from this kind of civic tech collaborations. Um, as for who can speak uh, through these uh, channels, uh, for I voting and join, actually for all three platforms, general publics can express their ideas online. Uh, on I voting, you can vote to express your idea. On join, you can second uh, idea, uh, second proposal. So, uh, for any general, uh, any citizens can express their idea. And for Vita, one there are various uh, platforms. Uh, and they sometimes will have offline meetings to invite the stakeholders. But as you can see, I put the limited uh, red words here for the stakeholder for I voting and we, uh, join because it's not always they have these offline meetings. Uh, so that uh, becomes the problem about a center setting and, and a center setting and the center setting is controlled by the government in these two platforms. So we can see sometimes it might be limited. Uh, as for V Taiwan. I put limited in the general public. The reason I put it here is that actually we Taiwan, while in civic tech community, we celebrate this uh, quite a lot that we think it has a very good procedures. It, was it is integrated into the government uh, mechanism. However, it's not so widespread among general publics. Not so many Taiwanese people know about v Taiwan and will go to V Taiwan's website to express their idea. So, as many of you might know, they have discussed Uber on V Taiwan for a while before and have some debates and a lot of things happening. But if you get somebody on the street, a Taiwanese, and ask it, do you know V Taiwan and their discussion on Uber? I guess not many people will say they know that. So, I think that's the problem for V Taiwan and also for a lot of civic technologies that how we can. Uh, broaden our uh, how to say it, uh, representations. How to engage with more uh, general public to care about the issues. And then about when uh, we divided uh, the process of policy making into several stages, from a problem analysis, planning, legislation, implementation to uh, after implementation, how we evaluate or take. Uh, the policy into account. And you can see that joint and I voting are mostly happens in problem analysis stage. And sometimes it will go to planning, but sometimes it just stopped at problem uh, side and then it just reply to a citizen, but nothing will move on. So it's, it really depends on case. And for V Taiwan, uh, because V Taiwan is uh, produced to make new laws for uh, cyber uh, issues. So uh, its procedures has already included the idea of our legislation. Okay, and then uh, about how to do uh, these three platforms. Uh, uh, as you can see here, actually uh, online uh, tools are used, but uh, num um, uh, V Taiwan has tried to put every information online and use various channels online, use Poly, Slido, Slido Discourse, but in other uh, two uh, platforms, uh, sometimes they only can vote, sometimes uh, there's no information online, so we don't think it's open enough. So I kind of run out of time, so I'll just go to my last slides. So some impacts and insights from our research on these three different tools. The first thing is that, um, we think that online has to 
be mixed with our offline meetings. This is for sure because we don't want to just include the people who want to express ideas online. We, we do want to engage with stakeholders who are not regularly use online tools, right? And the second thing is, uh, to be honest, the impact for these three tools now is really depends on case rather on tools. If the case, uh, if the case is so widespread that everybody pay attention on, like Uber, so it might have more impacts rather than other cases discussed on V Taiwan. So this kind of a little bit unfortunate, but we hope that in the future V Taiwan can have more uh, impact. Um, the third thing is that. Uh, uh, actually, now political support are still very important because for these new tools to be integrated into the old mechanism, it still needs some people on the higher positions to have the willingness to uh, include the, this mechanism. And the fourth is uh, public attention might bring more participation, but sometimes, um, I'm, I'm sad to say that, but sometimes it really hindered uh, quality discussion. So the, the problem is how we can find a good moderator to also lower the threshold of participation, but also have a higher quality of participation. And that is a very difficult uh, task for this uh, online citizen participation tools. And the fourth, thank you very much. <laughs> so the, fourth, uh, the, the last point is that the old and new mechanism need to be integrated, but it's still in the very early stage and we still haven't seen a mechanism to integrate uh, these old and new things. So uh, I think it's something that we want to keep an eye on in the future. Thank you so much.